a nested design ANOVA is a different type of ANOVA. It's where one of the IVs is embedded in the other IV or nested. That's where the word nested design comes in. So I think the best way to explain this is with this example. We're trying to decide if one of the counties is better at teaching mathematics than the other counties. So that's your first IV is county. And it has three levels, right? Los Angeles, Orange County, San Diego. So now each county has three different schools. They, they picked a high-performing school from each of the counties. They picked a medium-performing school at each of the counties and a low-performing from each of the counties. That's the nesting part. So when this ANOVA gets run, it's going to be comparing the performance from the LA high-performing to the OC high-performing to the San Diego high-performing and the medium, 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 and the low, low, low. So that's the nested part. It's kind of like a pairing situation. It just wouldn't make any sense to compare all three schools. We already know there's a significant difference between the schools because one's high, one's medium, one's low. So that's the nested part of this ANOVA. All right, so here's the data. Let's go ahead and get started. I went ahead and cut and pasted this into a SPSS sheet because that's what I do here. Hold on a second. So let's take a look at the data, right? Here's the county. One is Los Angeles. Two is Orange County. Three is San Diego. And there's nine different schools, right? They each got their own different number to represent the school. And these are the DVs. They're their math test scores. So the first thing I would do is to see if there's a difference between the county. I would go to Analyze, General Linear Model, Univariate. I'm just going to run a regular one-way ANOVA with just county. The DV is the test scores. County is the fixed factor. And which do I need here? Um, options. Okay. So this is just a regular one-way ANOVA. I'm going to try to show you the difference between a one-way ANOVA and a nested ANOVA. Okay, so let's just click OK and see what the output looks like. Okay, so there's 45 students from each of the three counties. There's their means and their standard deviations. And here's your source of variance table. So it says that, yes, there is a significant difference between the counties. Okay, it's a pretty big F and a very small significance value. Okay, but that doesn't take into any effect between the high schools. And we should notice that the uh, partial letter squared is about 13%. Eh, not very impressive. So now let's see if there's a difference between the high schools. So I'm going to run another general linear model. I'm going to kick out the county. I'm going to put it in the high schools. And we should already know that, yes, there's a significant difference between the high schools because one's high, one's medium, one's low. And here is our between subjects source variance box. And yes, you'll see the F here is not that big, but the significance is very small. So there is a significant differences between the nine different high schools, which we knew already. And again, the partial letter squared was less than 20%. Eh, not worth writing home about. But now let's do the nested design. So a nested design, you go to Analyze, General Linear Model, Univariate. And I'm going to reset the whole thing. But the DV is the dependent variable, is scores. Your main fixed factor, right? That's the original question. Is there a difference between the counties? So county is your fixed factor, and your nested design is your random factor, okay? That is, is, that's the, the IV that is being nested within the other IV. So you're going to click that. Um, to do this, this is the weird trick. I'm going to go slow. After you put in your variables where they belong, you're going to click Paste. We have to go into the code here. So in order to run a um, nested design, we have to go to the code. This last one down here, you have to type it in manually. So the first variable is county. The second one is high underscore school. So to turn this into a nested design, you take out the space, you put a parentheses, another parentheses, and a period. Make sure you put the period there or it will not run. 
That took me a long time. But this is the code you're going to need. Then you're going to go to Run, All, and here's the nested design ANOVA output. First box, how many per county? How many per school? You got your descriptive statistics here, your means, your standard deviations. I'm scanning over the means, and looks like Orange County is much higher than some of these other ones, but let's look at the Levine's test. Okay, we did not violate the assumption of homogeneity variance, and here's your money box right here. So, with the nested design ANOVA, this is saying that there was a significant difference between the counties, but not, not from the high schools. So in other words, the high-performing high school from San Diego, Los Angeles, Orange County, there was a significant difference between those three and or a significant difference between the medium-performing schools and or a significant difference between the low-performing schools, right? So those, those paired schools were what's being tested here. Now, let's look at the partial at a squared. So we jumped from, what was it, less than 20% up to about 67%. So that made our test a lot more stronger, okay? And that's it in a nutshell. So this is a nested design, ANOVA. And we proved that there was a significant difference with the way the counties are teaching their high school as, as measured by their math state exam scores. So the variance is coming from the county, but not from the high schools necessarily. So I hope this helps. MGZ out.